Of course, when your children leave the nest, when Susan Engel's son struggled on their own as adults, the developmental psychologist found the experience personally excruciating, and she wrote about it in a column for the New York Times.com called "When They're Grown, The Real Pain Begins." Engel is also the author of Your Child's Path: Unlocking the Mysteries of Who Your Child Will Become. Susan, good morning. Hi. Your column really touched a nerve. Yeah, it did. I was totally surprised by that. We'll talk about that in a moment, but first of all, let's just start with the basics. You have three grown sons, and you you said in the in the piece, when you were a mom, you thought when they were grown up, well, you don't have to worry anymore. Yeah, Get them off so, to college, it'll all be fine. That's right. I remember hearing a friend tell me that her youngest son had just gotten into college long before my kids were that old, and she said, "That's it. I'm done. I've launched them." And I thought, "Oh, that's going to be me someday." Oh, contraire. Yeah, because exactly. as you've learned, sometimes when your adult children go through difficulties, it can be so painful. One of your sons, in particular, Will, is who you write about, who went through a very difficult period in his life. Can you tell us? Yeah, about that? I can. So my son, Will is 25 and last year was just a brutal year for him he had a series of really terrible things or they were terrible for him calamitous things he um, had a very serious uh, injury to his finger which is permanently damaged it and he all the work he does involves his hands um, he had a very awful ending to a, a relationship very, very brutal for him and he um, sort of got summarily fired from a job he was actually really good at and with no explanation so you know when you're watching your kid s grab onto life and jump into it and you watch them get knocked down like that it's it's really hard and you write about it quite eloquently you said I didn't know how to handle my own nearly unbearable feeling of pain I wanted to be by his side constantly I wanted to go out and hurt those who had hurt him arrange new work for him bring beautiful women to my home where he had come to live and yet I wanted to get as far away as possible just to avoid the pain his pain was causing me. Yeah. You know, you got a lot of reaction to this, and some of it was, well, wait a minute, Mom, maybe there's an issue with you. Are you too attached and too invested, if that's possible, right. with your adult child? Right, yeah. So, you know, I got, uh, I was flooded with response, and I would say that the majority of the responses were really appreciative and grateful and sort of like, oh, my God, this is what I've been going through, too. But some people said things like, oh, you call yourself a psychologist, you should back off, or you should have backed off years ago, or you're a helicopter mom. Well, the reactions actually ran the gamut. I mean, mm -hmm. you've got all kinds of different things, some yeah. from the children's perspective, some yeah. from the adult's perspective. One woman wrote, I love my kids, but they will be truly grown up when they first think about how their tales of woe will stress me out and make me feel powerless and sad. Did you feel in one way that your article was speaking for moms out there, like saying, hey, we, we really feel this? You know, I wasn't really speaking for anybody but myself it was a very personal piece and I was just sharing the surprise I had experienced um, when my kids grew up and I realized I was launched into a whole new phase that I hadn't really been prepared for um, and I I think it's inevitable I don't think it's a bad thing to go through that pain I think it's part of being a mom yeah. um, so. well I know you got some good advice from your other son who said what when you told him back off yeah he said back he off said, yeah, don't don't fix my problem don't tell me it's not as bad as you thought just listen well I'm reminded of that old saying that having kids is like having your heart outside your body absolutely <laughs> you know there's a the poet William Butler Yeats said the price of love is grief and I think that describes being a mom perfectly well Susan Engel is a thought-provoking piece thanks yeah. for being thanks. here